What's up everybody, I'm Greg, and today we're taking a look at five of my favorite photo spots in Paris. So I was actually in Paris earlier this year and I didn't get the chance to film one of these videos while I was there like walking through the locations, but I figured it would still be helpful to give you a different perspective looking back on the trip uh, so I can narrow down some of the locations and give you guys what I thought would be best. So I also made a cinematic video which you can watch um, on my channel, I'll put it in the first link in the description, but besides that let's just get right into it. The first spot I recommend, and actually the first place I visited during my trip to Paris, is the rooftop on the Gallery Lafayette Mall. It's free, it's open to the public from like 8.30am to 9pm every day, uh, it has great views of the city, and it's incredible to watch the sunset and watch the lights take over the Eiffel Tower at night. Next is a colorful basketball court which has become quite popular in the past few years. It's actually the Pigali basketball court. It's only a few minutes from the previous location at the mall, um, so it's a really easy walk. You'll find a lot of locals just playing basketball, hanging out there, and sometimes you'll run into some photographers too because it is kind of getting popular, but considering it's only 10-15 minutes walk from the mall, I definitely recommend taking a look. So third is the Latin Quarter, and this is the area that's right below Notre Dame, which as you probably know, unfortunately burned down earlier this year, just a few weeks after I visited. But either way, the Latin Quarter is one of my favorite areas to walk around in Paris. It has a bunch of really cool old metro stations, a bunch of parks, cafes, it has the narrow street in Paris, which is kind of cool. But either way, it's one of my favorite places, and I definitely recommend taking a look. Next is this area right outside of the Louvre. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but you can see it right here on a map. It's basically, there are a bunch of bridges back to back that each have a different feel to them. And the architecture in this area is really cool. You'll see people going by on motorbikes, you'll see horses sometimes, there are a lot of good cafes. And the architecture is the main thing that kind of caught my eye. I think it's really cool for photography and just to get a glimpse of the culture, so I definitely recommend taking a look. Lastly, I of course had to include the Eiffel Tower. So there are two main viewing points of the Eiffel Tower. There's Trocadero, which is on one end, and there's like these grass yards, I'm not exactly sure the name of it, which are on the other sides. They have two different feels, and both are worth visiting for sure. The grass is more of like a local cultural side. If you're walking around there in the afternoon or late morning, you'll see a bunch of locals having a drink or having a snack. Hopefully you can catch some pictures of people eating a baguette right outside the Eiffel Tower. That would be pretty cool. Um, and then Trocadero is more of the touristy feel, but if you want to get that to yourself, I say you have to go in the morning. I wasn't able to go at sunrise, but if you were like this picture, then it's pretty much empty and it's one of the coolest views you can get. Some honorable mentions that might be worth looking into yourself include Sacre Coeur and Montmartre, this observation deck tower which I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but the name's right here, and then lastly of course, the Arc de Triomphe. Well that just about wraps up this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you found this useful please leave a like or subscribe to see more videos like this from me in the future. If you have any questions about my time in Paris, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, bye!